In part two of building boat frames, we make plywood gussets from cardboard templates based on the frame angle at the chine, tracing and cutting the shape from sheets of plywood, temporarily securing them to the chine, and finally cross bracing the whole frame. Hi, I'm Bill England of the Ambler Odyssey's YouTube channel. I am building a George Bueller designed 48 foot wooden troller yacht here in the Sea Clamp Boat Shed in the backyard of my Summerside, Prince Edward Island, Canada home. When completed, we will sail the seven seas in search of adventure. A gusset plate is used in construction to join two or more adjacent beams with bolts or welding. It also adds strength to the joint. It performs the same purpose for us as it joins and strengthens each frame at the hard chine. We start making our gussets by using a bevel gauge to measure the angle of the chine. This angle is key to making an accurate cardboard template that is then traced on half inch thick plywood. As the plans call for one inch thick gussets, two gusset forms are glued together. Two pairs of gussets are necessary for each frame. So to measure for the gussets, once we have our timbers cut and the angles cut and positioned properly, um, we cover this joint with a gusset and the primary point is this chine the chine right there and so you use a bevel gauge to measure that angle just lay that off tighten that up so we know that that's the angle and then on a piece of cardboard you just draw on that angle and for our plans, we know the gusset recommends going up 18 inches up, up the side frame and 22 inches down the bottom frame. So measure 18, 22. We know the uh, timbers are five inches wide, so we put a five inch perpendicular and then essentially connect the dots and the way George Bueller says it should be a, a gentle slope as if you could uh, drive a car up. So generally so far I found that just connecting those dots is, is fine. And then the next thing you do is you take this pattern and trace out uh, the gussets on the plywood to cut. <laughs> Here I am measuring the 22 and 18 inch gusset side lengths just to make sure it will fit on the cardboard. Starting the lines using the bevel gauge is enough to be able to measure and draw the entire gusset shape.
shapes will be derived using cardboard to create a template. It is far easier and cheaper to tweak the cardboard template to establish just the right dimensions than to cut your wood and find out you made an error in estimating. Marking templates is important so as not to mix them up. Maximizing the number of gussets you can get out of 4x8 sheets of plywood is kind of like a boat builder's version of Tetris. Place this way, that way, rotate 90 degrees, 180 degrees, whatever works. I cut a pair of gussets at a time from two sheets of plywood screwed together. That's efficiency. I'll just trace this out.
with four pair of half inch gussets cut, out comes the glue and clamps to transform them into one inch thick gussets. So with a gut, pair of gussets cut out, what I like to do is just, because uh, what I'm using is uh, uh, half inch, one side sanded uh, plywood. And I'm using that because it's the exact same price per sheet as standard plywood. Um, so there's always going to be one good side and then one, which is actually one of the, the worst ones, it has knots in the knot hole, but what I do is I, uh, I, this rougher side I'll sand down and then that's what I glue together and uh, so the smooth side's out. <laughs> Now don't worry, my framing of shots is getting better, slowly. Eventually, you won't see the headless boat builder, you'll see the whole boat builder. out in pairs, everything's lined up already. With four pair of gussets made, it is time to attach them to the frame. To attach the gussets, the first step is to temporarily screw the top gusset into position before adding cross bracing so as to maintain the frame shape. To get at the bottom of the frame, it is blocked up and the bottom gusset clamped into place to drill the holes for the 5 8 inch 6 inch bolts. Alright, so we're continuing the framing process. Uh, first step is to attach the gussets. So uh, everything gets lined up. The gussets are screwed into the uh, frame timbers and that'll hold them in place while we're uh, drilling the bolt holes.
After screwing down the top gusset, I mark the best locations for where the bolt holes will be drilled. Okay, so now I have the uh, top gussets put on, and before I put the bottom gussets on, um, I'm going to frame the frame up. I'm going to brace the frame up. So I have some 1x6 uh, lumber that will be used to hold this in shape, uh, both while we finish putting the gussets on, but also uh, between the time it's finished and the time it's mounted to the keel. Remember kids, when building a boat, it is important to be properly caffeinated. bracing across the shear line and just above the gussets. Additional bracing is positioned from the center diagonally down to each bottom frame timber. check measurements because I found it's about an eighth of an inch out. I'm marking that uh, shear line there because I noticed the, the marks weren't lining up. So just redrew that. It's always good to double check, triple check. And so I just put uh, a little bit of bracing underneath because now to get to the other side with the bottom pass it on. I need room to clamp. Clamp uh, those gussets on. frame is now ready to permanently attach the gussets.
In part three of boat framing, we finish bolting the gussets to the frame, mark and cut the side timber between the shear and raised shear to be vertical, and cut out a notch at the chine. With the frames finished, they were stacked along the side of the boat shed to patiently wait until it was their turn to be fitted to the keel. For a front row seat on this do-it-yourself boat build project, Please like and subscribe to the Ambler Odysseys on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.